It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Could be. Now space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. General Vacuum was an underground resistance leader. <laughs> Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches, so the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. 
We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered, but now... They have been kept in their cages for a long time, but yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them, frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Our people have been here for centuries, though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaku argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed, and we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The Boma is out of control! I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beast grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts. As... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. I again apologize for the Boma attack. The beasts are growing. I plan on talking with my brothers and sisters to see if there are solutions. If the... Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I see. Is your ship affiliated with any Republic-based corporation? D-1 
Do you have any crates of weapons or other military equipment you plan to sell in Isis? You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please, won't you help us? The military is divided. Some supporting the Queen, others supporting General Vaklu. Their arguments over seceding from the Republic become angrier and more public every day. General Vaklu has said that if the Queen doesn't rule with the consent of the people, she has no right to the throne. Things could get bloody. I've told you our story. My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen, the conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. 
The visas are very rare, but I have a feeling you may come across one. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiell recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiell said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. The Ithorian fleet has yet again pushed back estimates for when the beasts will be cleared from our streets. They claim that the blockade continues to hinder their progress. Not only has this posed a significant health risk, but there has been a rise of beast attacks in Isis. Three attacks happened last week. Disturbingly, there have been two additional beast attacks today. The frequency of the attacks has been growing. The Council of Lords session is running late. Critics say that this amend... Political experts say that Queen Talia is still... In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiell recommended a special... Con Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, beast cages are filling up the streets of Isis. That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city, and for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferro-steel plates. Somehow the Beast Riders figured out how to tame them years ago. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen and finally there was peace between our people. It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... Disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times, and it's not long before you're a civilian. The politics of the day is probably the most talk- Opinions are like giz- Stay out. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? But this is good news! You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pr pr pretend he isn't here. I think back when it's using the
You have returned! There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Exactly. That is all we ask. Close to two-thirds of Onduranians want to reclaim our independence, to isolate ourselves from the ravages of the Republic, to relive our golden age when we answered to no Senate. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our Queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. I am a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area. Not only financially, but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the Royal Palace. The Queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. We should try to get General Vaklu to be on our side. He has a shrewd mind and is far more fit for command. Queen Talia is young and too idealistic. A veteran leader is what this planet needs, and would make a better ally. Why do you take that so personally? When you've been around as long as I have, it's just part of doing business. Kawanabota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora Yasora Ku Dahupa Bosa Kurata Go Jujutu Yoki Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Mogachi Norta Hirembe Wanachi Kaki Mogo Grabo Drum Pabanakaras Mangra Kawanabota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura Kawanabota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Kawanabota Yunta Tanga Tong hite mosi jochia yumba dita wa Ta hirembe wana kompaile mokata Ta kom takjus miki mogo grabo Ka chichu esa hodunga Ka wana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora Ya moloda na winki sa toma Ka wana bota ayuta tanga kinamatora Chinor krim so chinor klelen chulk wole felen silo docha Dovre kun mili wosa Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yomali kavadumba munsuru ku. The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, offworlder. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. I'm the one in charge here, off.
tinachara, granacha, ganopiso, totorando crani, rakichi sa, donasito, rakichi sa, da kosha, ni chotono, punta chakorza, jumkarantaka, chono. Droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components, no refunds, and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? Reinitializing complete. That goes against my primary behavior programming. All I market conditions all set to zero. All prices now set to base cost value. Do you have Dagon Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. The soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Gent is one of them. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits.
lot of credits to be made. You look like an off-worlder. My name's Galisi. I'm a checkpoint captain at the Merchant Quarter. If you're here for Juma Juice, it's not that good, but at least it's cheap. I don't think Bith have the same sense of taste we do. Long day, as always. Sulio was captain of that checkpoint for years. I never knew why she came here every night until I got her job. We stand at the checkpoints all day long. It gets hot out there and my feet are always killing me. But now I'm in charge and everybody's problems are mine. So I have to deal with all the people begging to get out of the city. Every one of them's got a story. Let me tell you, there are a lot of sad stories out there. Hmm, she was murdered. I didn't want her job, but I got it now. The same as everyone. People are trying to blame that doctor, Dagon Ghent. I don't think even Command believe he did it. But someone's got to take the blame. I... I almost think that investigators aren't really looking. Dagon's convenient. They don't want to find the real murderer. Sulio was murdered. Maybe even assassinated. I might be a little paranoid. I have a wife and daughter to look after, and I feel like I'm a target now. I'm tempted to just grab my family and take the first shuttle out of here. I really am torn. There are days... There are some days where I think I'm a fool to stay. I... I believe you. How can you know... Never mind that. I think it may be a good idea to turn in my notice. I... I appreciate the warning. Kawana this room is reserved, off-worlder. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her. Or else. This is our part of merchant. I'm in all over the galaxy. This has gotta be the work we've never There's gotta be something you need. Something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal. Something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open Starport visa. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I want to... Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal.
I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? I didn't mean any offense, but this is the first good thing that's happened to me in days. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starport visas. After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak, and the cost to the Jedi Order was staggering. This entire region is unstable, and the entire Republic government could collapse. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow, and that can't be allowed to happen. Trade between our worlds has brought economic prosperity, and people just take it for granted. All worlds are now interconnected. The Senate also smooths over differences, and is a great instrument for peace. If the Republic falls apart, a thousand little wars born out of petty rivalries will erupt over time. Eventually, the entire gap. I really can't say. And Vaklu may very well win. What do you Dagon Ghent didn't do it. Because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. The information I have is vital to the Senate. I hope you can help. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I, if, if that would compromise your mission...
to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? We haven't played before, so you should know I don't pull any punches. You prove your mettle, and I might throw in a bonus one of these rounds. But enough of my cautionary... Foul business. Know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor, but he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing. Wancha Morichi. 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 Wancha Morichi.